As Reggie described, Nintendo Land gathers attractions based on many of our most popular franchises into a Nintendo theme park. These attractions borrow atmosphere and character of the original titles and rearrange them into completely new types of play. Your Mii visits the theme park, and your Mii will change into a new costume for each attraction. You will enjoy that attraction as a character in that world. That's Nintendo Land. Nintendo Land is a single game that brings together 12 different attractions. For those visiting E3, we have five of those 12 attractions for you to try. Among these five, The Legend of Zelda Battle Quest, Animal Crossing Sweet Day, and Luigi's Ghost Mansion are multiplayer attractions that there is no mistaking get everyone excited. We will also show the single player attraction Donkey Kong's Crash Course and Takamaru's Ninja Castle. In Takamaru's Ninja Castle, you'll use the Wii U gamepad to hit targets with throwing stars. And it may be familiar to those of you who saw last year's E3 concept video. I hope you will try it on the show floor to see how it has progressed. Well, there were three objectives that I set before starting the construction of Nintendo Land. The first was to create unprecedented new forms of multiplayer gameplay by taking advantage of the Wii U gamepad. Second, since we were creating a theme park, I also wanted people to enjoy it to the fullest, whether visiting with friends and family or playing competitively by themselves. And finally, I wanted Nintendo Land to be a place visitors from all around the world could gather. And I want the visitors to really sense that. What will make this a reality is Miiverse, our effort to unite living rooms and people playing games all around the world. 